Aren't you excited to go back for spring ball? Yeah, I'm excited, man. <laughs> man, that last match was a grind. You know, that's why I came out and did this sport. You know, to test myself. You know, to see how far I'm willing to go. At any given second, I could have gave up. But that's why you wrestle, you know. So what kind of heart you really have. And how do you balance doing two college sports? I mean, most people have difficulty with one, you know. Yeah, I mean, I tell you, one practice at a time. Yeah. Usually, uh, when it's football season, I focus on football. When it's wrestling season, you know, I focus on wrestling. So as soon as the, the football se season was over, you know, my mind just went straight to wrestling. And I started, you know, practicing. And, you know, uh, there's no time to feel sorry for yourself. You know, a lot of people would, you know, saying, hey, there, there's no breaks because right. they're doing two sports. There's no time for that, you know. Talk about the pride of uh, becoming all American on this second group of Bulldogs. I mean, obviously, uh, before they dropped sport and they brought it back, uh, Fresno State was strong. You know, we got Hall of Famers coming out of there. Yeah. Uh, and you're going to be the first one back on the wall um, since they've reinstated the program and really fired up the Valley. Talk a little bit about how that feels for you. I know, it's amazing, you know. Growing up, uh, you know, you watch Fresno State wrestling. They drop the program, you know, everybody's hearts broke. They bring it back, you know, and it's a dream come true to be the first All-American. You know, it's what I work my whole life for, you know. Josh, you know, like we talked about it last night and uh, heavyweights on the table next year, right? What did you, what was that playing weight? You guys got in the bowl game this year, right? What did you play at at the bowl game in December? And what did you get to in January? How big do you get? And, and, you know, what's the weight cut like for you? Yeah, I mean, you know, at the end of the football season, I'm already, you know, naturally dropping my weight. Uh, I don't know. I, I stopped eating as much. I don't know. Uh, but as soon as, you know, uh, football was over, I was about 215. You know, then you start getting some wrestling practice on your belt. And, you know, you know how wrestling practices are. Have you ever been in the wrestling room? Man, it's, it's brutal. Weight starts naturally coming off. You know, that helps with the diet as well. And I'm just so, you know, used to that. You know, I've been doing this all my whole life. You know, even in uh, high school, I went from, you know, 210, 215. And I slowly got my way down to 184 to win that state ch uh, championship in high school. So it's, you know, it's nothing new to me. How about the coaching staff and the support you get at Fresno? I mean, first of all, you guys have a ton of fans come out for your duels, it's right? It's amazing. And then you know. you've got some world-class people there in the room helping you as coaches or at the RTC. How's that helped you? You know, we're not no, you know, powerhouse school yet, you know, but we have the resources, you know, to be the All-American. And I'm a prime example of it. You don't have to go to, you know, Penn State, to all these big programs, Iowa, Minnesota, to to be an All-American. You can stay right in your backyard. If you're from the Valley, you can stay and wrestle for Fresno State and become All-American, be a, be a champion as well. Josh, used to be a time that football and wrestling were almost connected. Now it's not. In fact, that's one reason why there's a lot of big guys where they take so many forfeits in high school now. What has to happen to reconnect the sports? I feel like we live in a society nowadays that, you know, a lot of people are telling you what you, what you can and cannot do. You know, I feel like we got, as a society in general, we became softer, you know. People are feeling sorry for themselves, you know, saying one sport's too much. And I'm a, you know, I'm a prime example of what the human body could, you know, really do, mm -hmm. you know. And I'm, I'm not even reaching my full pot potential yet. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, once you stop feeling sorry for yourself, saying, hey, this is football, this is wrestling, you know, each of them together, they help each other out. Compare this experience to a Division One football game. Oh, man. That's tough. You know, this is, a, this is me being All-American. It doesn't even compare to, you know, I, I, I won the Mountain West Championship. I won my conference. I won the bowl game. You know, just to do it individually, you know, nothing compares to that. You know, an individual All-American. That's just, that's amazing. I can't even compare it. To celebrate this with friends, I, we saw it last night. Neville's, Olivas, you've been around those guys forever. Yeah. What was it like to celebrate that with with guys that you've known since you were a, a tiny tyke? 
man, it's amazing, you know, just coming up with them. You know, always grinding together just means a little bit more, you know. We were in high school. Um, we had a lot of success in high school. Um, but just to keep grinding with them for this many years, and for me to eventually break through, their time's coming, you know, mark my words. How far is Clovis from Fresno State? About 10 minutes. You get to go home and do your laundry and everything? Yeah, so, yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. You that gotta is. love yeah, that, right? Yeah, yeah. I need to get a home cooked meal like every night. It's amazing. It's a lot of people, a lot of people don't get to experience that. Some people want out of the valley. Yes. You want to stay there? For a second, you know, a lot of people will want out. You know, everybody wants to move away for college, but then they go and move away and they're like, oh, I miss my, fam my family, my, my friends. You know, I, I was blessed to, you know, not have to go through that. I already, I already saw uh, the future to say, you know, I didn't have to move away to miss my family, my friends. Uh, so just staying home, wrestling for the Valley, it's just, it's amazing. You don't have to move away. It's cool for a second. Don't get me wrong, but you're going to miss your family. You're going to miss the, the home cooked meals. You know, trust me. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Thank you. You have